Hello everybody and welcome back to Perbeck. So we do have quite a lot of bales. We still actually need to produce some more. Uh, not all of the swaths of straw have been baled up just yet. I think before we do that though, we should probably get the combine taken back to the farm. It's gonna be used again in the next episode or two because we're gonna have the sunflowers to do. But I think before we get onto that, it's gonna be good to turn this field around. And well, there's, there's still that annoying field, 45 I think it might be. Um, it's a grass field and I just have done nothing to it, so really it should be cut. But if it's not going to be cut, it can just be cultivated up. Anyway, yeah, let's get this uh, popped back onto the trailer. There we go. And we'll head off. Do I dare put the header trailer on the combine? <laughs> Maybe I don't dare. Um... No, I won't. The tractors, the mass focus has got to go back anyway, so uh, we might as well just take them both separately. Okay, so that is the header back in the shed. Probably not for too long, but we are going to have to have a different header anyway for the corn and for the sunflowers. So we'll just pop this back over here, that should be fine. Right, so uh, we need this tractor. Let's engage the BDO. Uh, looks like we've overshot in the previous episode. <laughs> uh, we'll back up and we'll get this piece done. Then we'll have to go over there and get that piece done. And then we're going to get this cleared. We're going to get these bells sold. I don't think we need to keep any. I'll have to check again to see how many we have. But considering each feed mixture uses about a third of a straw bale, um, unless we're using it for bedding, we don't really need that much. Well, that is us done, and it looks like we've produced quite a few. We will empty the baler, and we can take this back. Well, I suppose we can we can actually take it to the field which we haven't done anything with. Uh, if I do decide to bale it, then I can obviously bale it with this. Um, but I just don't know. Do I want to bale it? I I kind of feel like I just want to get it, get rid of it. Uh, we have loads and loads of grass, and really, we're not struggling. We have over two hundred thousand liters of silage to sell. Um, so I guess it comes down to if it's fertilized is 45 fertilized if it is then I'm going to cut it it's 50% okay <laughs> that actually didn't help uh, I don't know I'll keep thinking about it we'll clear these bells first of all we'll see how many bells we have first of all though in the shed uh, yeah we've got loads Maybe we'll keep a, a couple, but we definitely don't need to be keeping much. So we do already have the New Holland tractor here. I should probably put the baler in this shed. And we need to get the flatbed trailer attached to this. I've popped the weight on the front of the trailer Obviously we need to take it with us, but I can't keep it on the tractor. We can't attach both at the same time. Uh, so we can hopefully get all of those bells on in one go. 
we might end up with some just on the forks uh, and they can go in the shed if that is the case the best thing to do is probably just to put the trailer somewhere central yeah these will all fit there's not too many I think we had way more off the grass fields so probably somewhere around here yep somewhere around here that should be fine so we'll, we'll stack three high we're gonna have to uh, as long as we can lift three <laughs> that's always the concern and yeah we'll get it cleared Well, we do have a good load there, and they do fit perfectly onto the trailer. If, of course, I do discover another bear which I've missed, then we can pick it up at a later date. I think most of those things we can see are bits of crop that have not been harvested. Um, yeah, like under the trees. I obviously drilled way too far under the trees. So we have 135,000 litres. And no, I don't think we do need to keep any. We'll just go straight to the cell point, wherever that may be. It might be really close to here. Um, uh, yeah, I expected the price to be bad. Straw and hay sell point. Now that is, I think, about somewhere down here. Nope, <laughs> it shows I know the map really well. Um, or is it, actually? No, it's over here. Oh, it's literally next to the BGA I've been before. I should have known that. We might as well take the weight with us. It's all strapped on. Uh, I won't be able to make the right turn, so we'll just spin around. And I suppose, actually, it would be quite fun to go back via the store, because we can reconfigure, or I should say, restore, the trailer. Actually, we can do that at our own mobile workshop, I think. Yeah, we'll go to our own workshop, or workshop trailer, and we'll get it all restored. So we'll probably put a metal bed on, put some better wheels on, that sort of stuff. Beautiful sunset. Yeah, I don't tend to actually play when the sun is setting. I tend to just zoom through. This is way nicer. I ignore cars in this game. <laughs> You've probably noticed. It's almost dark. But here we are, ready to make a bit of money. That weight is probably just going to fall down onto the trailer bed. Oh, nice. It was done gradually. Uh, so we got £14,378. It's a shame we didn't bring the other tanker, actually. If we had the tanker, we could have got some digeste but I don't think no it hasn't got a tow bar so we couldn't bring two things that's taken us up to a hundred thousand pounds I think then as we've just done that we'll actually get rid of the loan completely get back to zero so the money which we now have is a hundred percent ours which is a good feeling Now let's go and do some restoration work overnight. It's going to rain as well. I would put some more lights on, but we're on the road and we can't really do that. 
Uh, there's no other cars around. I think we can probably put some lights on now. There we go. We can't be dazzling all the drivers. Okay, making my way back through the darkness. It's kind of scary. And we have got the workshop just here. Well, it's kind of a workshop. It's a service trailer. It is good, though. So let's convert this into something quite different. So first of all, we've got different wheel brands. I don't think the actual brand is going to make much of a difference. It's the setup that will change most things. Uh, but I'm thinking, yeah, just anything which is like really flotation-y, not really narrow tyres. So like that, actually, that's, that's pretty good. Um, you might be able to get some twins, though. But then, yeah, you can get twins, but then they're probably not quite as good, are they? I don't know. Hard to say. Um, oh, they were they were chunky. I like them. Good for road use, too. So, yes, trailer configuration. New! Hooray! Uh, auto load? No, we have to keep that as standard, I think. It's not that difficult to load this. Um, I didn't know they were called creels. But nice. Uh, I think we'll just keep one on the front. Um, add straw? No, I think we'll clean that up. Yeah, we'll have some tour boxes. Old wooden floor. Steel floor. New wooden floor. Uh, and there is something quite nice actually about the new wooden floor. Of course, it will rot again eventually. Just a bit. Yeah, it's just nice to look at than uh, the metal, I think. So we'll go with that. And the body colour, to be honest, I absolutely love that default. So I think we'll probably stick with the default. Oh, you can change the colour of the steel floor if you go with it. So that's a nice little uh, option. And the rims, yeah, if they're, they're silver. Should we go with chrome? Why not? Okay, so £10,200. There we go. Looking smarter, that's for sure. And now we can rest. We'll see it better in the daylight. There's rain coming. Rain coming to immediately soak the new wood. Oh well. Good morning. So, uh, there's actually more rain coming again later, I guess. Uh, there is the new trailer. Looking absolutely splendid. And yes, it is now time to focus on that grass field. Uh, actually, if that BJ is not processing, we'll give it another load. But if it is, we'll just leave it. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yes, we'll stop the slurry. We're going to deliver a trailer load of silage. How are the cows doing? Oh, they need food too. Okay, it looks like, as usual... My plans are being pushed back. This is why we don't really have time to uh, do anything with that field. Because it's now September, and we probably want to have some uh, cover crops put in. And it is drilling time, although we can do spring crops. That's alright. But at least if I do another feed mixture, I can get rid of these two hay bales, which are really in the way. I would like to get those shifted. But let's just keep the BGA fed, first of all. Oh, I'm never going to get around there. Oh, so close. Wow. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh, yeah, and the milk is adding up. I keep saying nearly every episode we'll get the milk sold, and then I never do. At least when I do sell it, we'll have a lot to sell. Current price is just here. It's actually better next month, that is the best time to sell. But it is, yeah, really good. Almost 2,200. So we'll give this a nice full load. Oh, I didn't reconfigure, but it's still quite big. It's nice and uh, tall, despite it not being for loose materials.
Well, we do already have some feed in the mixer. Oh yeah, so I was going to clear up all this slurry. Well, whatever it is, mud. Um, I, I guess we'll have to do that next time too. There's just so many jobs. Maybe we should really consider slowing down a bit. I guess the time is at 0 0.5, so <laughs> we can't get much slower. That's half the speed of real time. Obviously. Sorry to point out the obvious. So yeah, um, let's do another mixture. And we'll get rid of those two hay bales immediately. Just pop this here. In our mixing position. That's a fair chunk. But I'm trying to use more hay over silage because we can obviously sell the silage for quite a bit. Well, we can convert it into gas for quite a bit. Please don't fall out. Uh, we have the straw bale over here and there is still a silage bale in there. We're just going to keep working our way through the silage bales and if we ever need to move on to the pits, we can do. Right, so they finally processed. Uh, we'll get this down to about four and a half thousand litres. That should do. And then if we throw a silage bale in, that should make it a good mixture. I guess it would also be easier to use the loose silage because we've got the wheel loader and these Bales of silage are really heavy. <laughs> Just an example there. Yeah, demonstration. It, it is. It's amazingly heavy. So regardless of whether it all gets processed or not, it's going in because as we empty, it will definitely uh, shred the rest of it. So there we go. Hopefully that is recognised as Total Mix Ration. Fiddlesticks. Look how close I was. We only just lack silage. Actually, that's not a problem. If I throw another silage bale in, almost immediately after we start unloading, it will convert. And it will actually give us even more in the end. So in we go. Almost threw it over the back. Yeah, so it won't convert until I actually start to unload. Ready? Oh, always seems to have. There we go, it's converted. So, um, yeah, that's all we needed to do. I'll let it keep processing that silage burn until it disappears. There we go. So that will have only given them a very small portion of forage, which they don't want. Yeah, 523 litres. So that's absolutely fantastic. They still have water. And it's going to leave us with 54%. Nice. So what next? put the trailer here and I'm going to attach to the drill I think we'll just put some cover crop in into that grass field 45 and really it shouldn't take long to do it because I don't think we need to cultivate first it is already an existing field it's not just like no man's land where it's just an open area of just grass generic grass So we are set to oilseed radish, and once it's ripe, we should have 100% fertilizer in that field. That field just there. Have I overshot? Do we? How do we get in? I don't know. Ah, <laughs> oh, hitting everything. Um, well, obviously it's possible to get in. I can see a gap there, but 
Now it must be back the other way. You must access it through here. Otherwise there wouldn't be a track. Yep, there we go. I'm going to struggle to get through there. But we're through. <laughs> Not too much of a struggle. Right. Okay, so I think really it's just the sort of job that wants to be time-lapsed. We've done it before. We'll do it again. Uh, you can see it's giving us a natural headland of grass. Uh, even if I go right up to the edge, it won't drill it. As you can see. It'll go up to a pre-designated boundary but once we get into October this will have grown and it will give us 100% fertilizer lovely Well, that is us pretty much done. I am pleased that I've just done this. I don't really want to be taking all the grass off. It's just an extra field. Oh, better get that piece. Although it doesn't really matter, because it's going to be drilled again. There we go. That makes all the difference. So we'll put this drill on the pad just over there. Uh, it looks like actually our corn is ready. So we'll be able to do that very soon. I suppose it is actually overdue. I was going to do it with the forager. But then maybe, maybe because we're going to need the uh, header for the combine uh, to do the sunflowers, maybe we should just harvest one with the combine as well. Leave this here. So, yeah, that's all looking good. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.